Woo! All right, what's up, everybody? I'm out cruising today, so uh, the last deal sport ride I put on, the big one with about 20, I think there was 22 bikes, maybe. Uh, there was one guy that really wanted to come, wasn't able to make it, and he hit me up uh, yesterday, and uh, I was like, hey, will you, uh, if, you know, if you're gonna ride today, I'd love to check that loop out, so giving him a little bit of a personal tour today and uh, he's on a uh, Honda 450 uh, whatever they call them RLs or whatever the straight legal 450 Honda deal sport and uh, it's just the two of us so even though I'll be riding pretty much the same route uh, from a couple video videos ago um, with it just being two of us the pace should be a, a little faster nothing crazy um, we ain't gonna be uh, you know toby pricing it out here or nothing but the pace should be a little quicker and uh footage might be a little more fun to watch that way and also i've got uh a few channel update infos i'll give you along the way and uh be sure to uh you know if you like the content subscribe share like all that stuff that i normally forget to mention and uh yeah that would uh that would be appreciated and help the channel out for sure and uh we'll see if we can't have a little fun today more water out here than I'm used to we've had a drought this summer but we're I won't say we're on the tail end of it but up here in the Tennessee they're kind of on the tail end of it they've been getting a little rain here and there Hard to get the front end up in this gravel, this tire. I'm on the stock tire. I've got 6,000 miles on it. It ain't hardly got no tread left in the center. And they already suck with lateral grip. So uh, coming down the pipeline, this will probably be my last last ride on this tire, aside from maybe a, a commute to work one or two times this upcoming week. So. Uh, got that to look forward to on the channel because I'll be swapping over to the new Tusk uh, two track waypoint, whatever the newest Tusk tire is. Um, the one they had the recall on, I've already got one of those sitting in the garage post recall, and um, so we'll be swapping to that here soon. And uh, we'll do a little review of that, see how that handles should be way better for this type of riding on the T7. So we got that coming down the pipeline and uh, I just got the uh, Clark oversized tank installed on the XT225 and waiting on a new gas cap to come in. Uh, my gas cap split at the seam and I don't know if it was uh, weak to begin with or had a manufacturing defect. Um, or if the vent wasn't venting properly in that gas cap and caused pressure in the tank enough to split it. But uh, either way, I've been waiting on that. And uh, I'm probably gonna have that bike, uh, probably gonna start actively trying to sell it. I like that bike, but I figure, um, I'm 
figuring on something a little bigger in the future, maybe a, a KLX, uh, maybe a KLX 300 uh, or something like that. So uh, probably get that bike gone and uh, get this T7 paid down a little bit more and then potentially look at replacing that XT with something with a little more grunt that's still, you know, by comparison, a relatively smaller and still, you know, lightweight, dual sport, uh, nothing, nothing crazy like a, a KTM 450 or 500 or nothing. But I like having the little XT in the garage. And if I had the funds, I'd just keep it, leave it sitting there and still probably ride it every now and again because uh, it is super lightweight. But I'm in the bike real good, even after uh, spending some money on some upgrades. So I should be able to uh, make a few bucks on it. We'll move it on down the road. It wasn't really intended to be a flip bike. I've, I've maybe had it eight months now, but um, we should be able to flip it for a profit nonetheless and uh, I'm thinking about getting something inexpensive cruiser wise now, if you've been with the channel for a while you know that uh, I'm not prejudiced I'll ride anything with two wheels from Suzuki Bergman scooters and Honda Ruckuses all the way to uh, yeah, a T7 so uh, Harleys <clears throat> so uh, the T7 is uh, short term comfortable as a two up bike for my wife but if we go out for a couple hours she is uh, pinching me and my love handles to hurry up and get off so I'm thinking about uh, maybe getting something like a little Honda Shadow uh, something with a, a bit more grunt than uh, the, the Rebels and V-Star 250s I've had on the channel in the last couple of years as, as flip projects. Um, and that's a bike I've never owned. Uh, even though the, the majority of my subscriber base I feel like is probably more focused around dual sports or ADV bikes. Um, you know, I do, I do get good views on the the cruiser content and uh, you know they're popular beginner bikes as well uh, the shadow specifically and uh, that's an iconic bike from Honda in that cruiser lineup and I don't really like the way all of the the shadows look but I'm specifically looking for a 07 to 09 Spirit 750 it's got the 21 inch front wheel and if I can find it in black without the flames on the tank uh, that would be ideal. I feel like those are uh, good looking little bikes, bulletproof, make a good uh, work commuter for me. So I'm not wearing out these uh, knobby tires I'm about to swap to on the T7. Just commute back and forth to work. And uh, it'd be a better two up bike from my wife wants to go through some back roads or, or something. And uh, so may in the short term, uh, after the XT, if I stumble across one of them, uh, may be able to get one of them on the channel and then the next bike would be looking for like I said it would be a, a KLX 300 um, I don't know we'll just see what it holds but that, that's a little bit of a channel update on where I anticipate we'll be going and uh, it just kind of depend on uh, what I can find for a good deal uh, I feel like you in my local area those uh, those shadows are pretty inexpensive if you're looking at the VLX 600 you can get them as as cheap as two grand that seem like they would be you know in fine condition and not crazy high miles um, but finding that Spirit 750 with the 21 inch front wheel they're out there um, and the price on them is not much more a few hundred bucks asking price you know 2500 maybe um, but it'll just depend on what I can find, when I find it, and yada, 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 yada. So, I don't have the deepest pocketbook, so I gotta kinda shuffle bikes around and 
kind of plan for what I'm wanting down the road while still meeting uh, my needs, or not necessarily needs, but desires for, you know, what kind of riding I might be looking to do at the time. So, anyway, uh, that'll give you an idea of what's to come. We're uh, getting close to uh, the management area, which would be the, the farthest north, north section of this route through Middle Tennessee. And uh, it's incredibly scenic, uh, very nice area. I wish I had known it even existed you know, years ago. And I uh, could have already been exploring and riding around up there more than, than I have been, but just, just discovered it, so better late than never, I guess. And so I'll probably uh, fire the camera back up there and uh, get some footage of that. Spook up on them horses. That both of them got a little spook, but the one that guy was on was a little bit more honorary, I think. traffic out today. <clears throat> Which the weather is nice. We still got highs in the uh, middle 80s for midday heat, but uh, we've started getting some cool crisp mornings. It's I mean, I ain't shed my jacket yet. It's still probably not warmer than 72 73 if I had to had to gamble on it I thought we'd be able to bomb along at a pretty good pace, but I wasn't thinking about cooler weather. This is a popular horse riding area, and then also just people being out in general, driving around in vehicles, enjoying the, uh, the management area. Didn't see that thing coming. It's 
skid plate doing its job. We still got some more dirt ahead of us, but I'm probably gonna call it right there. If you wanna see that entire route, stay tuned for the next video. I'll do a uh, edited video, and then I'll probably drop an uncut, um, unedited, just all the footage in chronological order, and uh, you can see that entire 30 miles uh, loop we just did. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, that way you don't miss out on any any other content coming down the pipeline. We'll catch you on the next one.